welcome back to the episode of Last Outer Survival 3 where we return boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and we're kicking things off at me and Travis's favorite place. It's a place filled with trash. Yes, there's loot here too. Yeah, there's also junk here too. It's a yard full of it. But the trash I'm talking about is the Raiders over here. And they got to go because they might be hiding some really good stuff. So without further ado, yeah, let's get some big old hits with our saw blade mason. I'm going to mow them down a little bit of that pistol drizzle to kick things off. And woo! there's a reason this is my favorite version of the Junkyard event. Because there's going to be guns aplenty in addition to some key opportunities for the ATV car batteries which 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 let me just very quickly point out is how we get our hands on these beauties once we have the atv assembled because i mean if we didn't have the atv assembled it would also go towards building the atv but after that we do need them for our swamp expeditions and honestly with the way that things are going what if we like we might even need these things down nah, right us i'm the one dying a little bit i'm pretty close to being naked i'm getting a little bit concerned right now but that's another group of raiders down and yeah our armor is being shredded apart but even maybe there is opportunity hello guy against three i am indeed not one of them <gasps> let's freaking go and we got a shotgun to kick things off oh baby oh we got a blue durability pistol oh that's this is just this is uh, this is just a sign of a great day here ladies and gentlemen boys and girls the only thing that could make this day even better would be finding one maybe a couple of ATV car batteries within this area, but woohoo! That's already a fuego start into the festivities. But another reason that I do want to stockpile on them and just in general, let's freaking go. No ATV car battery, but we did get a motorcycle magazine. I love my magazines. They are a good reading material for when uh Vitamin P is being produced. Yeah, let's, let's let's word it that way. I'll go in and get these boots. Might toss those on since our armor is literally on the brink of it, 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 destruction. That thing's about to be done -zo. But uh, whatchamacallit. We do have some empty bottles over there. We'll take for the time being. Empty in some gasolina over there. I'll actually drop off some of these. I meant to drop those off because, as y'all might be able to tell, we're suiting up for a raid today. In addition to something that I am so freaking excited to dive into. So let's freaking power through this junkyard and then dive into exactly what I am talking about. Because, uh... Let's just say, y'all, season six. Oh, baby, it's looking good. But back to what I was saying. Hello, Raina. Uh, goodbye, Raina. Boop. Oh, my God. In one fell swoop, I just destroyed all of that lady's clothing. I sincerely apologize. I don't apologize about killing you, though, but that was very rude of me to destroy your armor. I was planning on looting that. How could I be so inconsiderate? Let's go and get a little bit of um nom nom carrot stews up in our bellas. Yeah, she dropped literally nothing. Let's continue looting this up. And we still got two more groups of raiders that we got to deal with. But hopefully within some of their choppers, we will be able to find those ATV car batteries. Because as we know, season six is going to be bringing some major, major things to the table. And I want to ensure with everything in my power that we are prepared with all of the rarest materials and resources so we are just ready to go absolutely ham egg and cheese on that thing oh sorry about a little burp there once it does it come because there is going to be a lot that that puppy is going to be bringing and i want to show off every single little bit of it ladies and gentlemen boys and girls nothing will be safe from me new enemies they will be dying disastrous deaths Probably at my hands. Maybe at their own hands, though. Who knows? Maybe I will... <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Bit of a brain fart there. And or some sniffles I had to edit out. Because, dude, I've been freaking struggling with the sniffles at this point for, like... I feel like I've had the sniffles for, like, all of 2020 at this point, man. And I am not a fan of the sniffles. Honestly, if I could leave a Yelp review on the sniffles, bro, they are getting a 1 out of 5. I tell ya what. Hello! Right at number one and right at number two. Sayonara. Let's see you guys in your graves. Oh, wait. I ain't digging those for you. Your graves are going to be right by this campfire. 
Sorry, buds. That's all you get. Now, the, oh, yeah, we definitely got to put on some new clothes. These clothing, eh, this is not acceptable. Oh, yes, I know. I'm even tossing on the pantalones. That's how you know that things are getting serious when the pantalones uh, do go on. But we need everything within our possible arsenal to take down this last group of raiders and then move our way forward from there. We should be able to siphon up pretty much the rest of the gas that this event does have to offer, which is also one of the nice things that this event does offer as well is just all the gas you're able to get from all of these motorcycles, plus looting some gas from some of the different loot spots in addition to, of course, some chances at very valuable stuff like ATV car batteries, some doggy treats. Always love to see those. We got our hands on some more gasoline over there. So let me just temporarily kind of shuffle things around a little bit. Boop, toss that over there. Boop, toss that over there. Shout out on the band-aid. Um, nom, nom, nom. And collect those things up into our inventory. Now, hopefully this is the fabled location out of the mall where what we are looking for will be found. And also, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to quit my pistol over there and hopefully... This person, where are you wandering to, Raider? Oh, we got multiple people on us! No, 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 no! The other person that knows us, I have no idea how old. Dude, he's literally staring at us. He's literally, like, looking at his friend's dead body. I just murdered his best friend in front of his eyes. And he doesn't seem to care. I think he fears Travis. Travis is on my back, and we all know. If you know anything about Travis, fear will be stricken inside of your heart. But besides that, hello! And goodbye to you all. Let's definitely not die. There's not a lot of time left on this event itself. Oh, our armor freaking disappeared in front of our own eyes. But that's all right because the Raiders' lives disappeared in front of theirs. So I think it evens out. And by evens out, I mean we kind of have the upper advantage. Let's go ahead and collect the rest of those gas bottles. So we now should actually be coming out of here at a net positive in terms of the gas that we are collecting, which is absolutely great news because having a good stockpile of gas is gonna be amazing moving forward so we can power both our chopper and our ATV, especially with the mysteries that season six does have in store. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time for what I was incredibly excited for. No, not Joseph the dealer. Boom! What we're seeing here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the official season six teaser trailer, which reveals so, so much, not to mention the fact that when one of these trailers comes out, that usually means that the update is very near, which means I would not be surprised if this update might even be coming this very week due to the fact that this trailer was recently released and there's a lot that we need to break down but first the caption that was released with this trailer new locations and quests dangerous enemies and loyal allies all these and more in season six are you ready last day on earth devs kefir yes i am ready Give me season six already because we have already found out so, so much about this update. We're about to find out even more and boom, that begins over here at an incredible look at what appears to be a brand new fortified town location city filled with the survivors. You can even see a literal gate with someone in a watchtower looking out. This is civilization and and this is where a lot of what we have found out from actually one of the Q&A sessions that the last Iron Art developers did release, I believe just last week, detailing some more stuff about season six. I think where a lot of stuff is going to be coming into play because we know for a fact that there is going to be some sort of a town location with NPCs and friendly allies present. We actually kind of, they, they were kind of hinting at that with this trailer, with the kind of text that they released with it, describing what we're seeing. This is likely to be the allies this is likely to be our friends and this is likely to be a literal city that we are able to enter and potentially this is where we are going to be doing the quests that they mention as well from because we're probably not going to be getting quests from the people that we are shooting at we are likely to be getting quests from this town
town over here. And this is also likely where we are going to be seeing a faction reputation system of some sort coming into play as well. We know that that is to be expected within this season six update where somehow we are going to be able to gain a reputation with certain factions. And likely this is going to be where that does come to fruition and potentially that reputation will allow us to access more quests, better quests, more loot, potentially be able to like trade with this faction once they kind of like realize we're friendly. And it's just such a huge step for last day on earth to literally have a friendly faction. We're going to be able to get quests from interact with and just this giant friendly town. We're going to be able to check out and everything that it might be meaning. But boo, let's go ahead and carry on from there because what we're seeing here is what appears to be yet another location. And there are a lot of locations. We're going to go over all the locations that this trailer confirms. And then on top of that, we're going to talk about other locations that have also been confirmed and how all that jazz does come into play but what we are seeing here actually appears to be a farm like area but with a very interesting kind of little caveat over on the left we can actually see multiple like military tents or multiple like tents propped up some sort of a barn and a crashed pickup truck so this is likely to be one of two things well it's definitely going to be a new location separate from what we saw just prior to this but this might actually be the home of another faction of some sort maybe they'll be chilling over in the tents and maybe we'll be able to get quests and interact with them as well because when they mention that there's going to be a faction reputation system there's a good chance that there might be multiple factions coming into play and multiple groups of survivors that we're going to be able to get quests from and kind of progress a quest line with from them which is just such huge news for last day on earth and such a big step up for just like the cycle and just like content man there's going to be so much to do with what we are detailing but yeah besides that i mean there's the tents over there on the left which does signify what appears to be a survivor presence and or raider presence of some sort we obviously have the crashed pickup truck potentially the pickup truck that might be connecting with fort moss because those tents over on the left are also similar to some of the tents i believe we saw set up at fort moss during season three plus that barn in the back so maybe this is that group of survivors that we were helping out with back in fort moss and uh well they might have some more stuff in store for us a time will tell maybe it'll connect with us protecting that barn maybe that's their new home maybe they have some sort of shenanigans going on in there or maybe there's some sort of a nasty boss and zombie awaiting us in that barn but again the time will tell boom after that there's a part of the trailer where we can actually see this kevlar person running by uh this is actually from the seven days events where when you first start playing last day on earth for the first seven days you have like unique events that pop up we've done videos on this topic before in the past this is the exact type of location we actually saw at the young bear event so potentially we are actually going to be battling another bear and this does appear to be a unique location as well because that little kind of like rock cave formation with the oak tree growing on top of it is actually the cavern of a bear so it looks like this might be yet another distinct location making this trailer already revealed three new areas that are likely to be added in season six plus the connection that that person running along in kevlar i believe is the same person that we saw in that kind of first area where i stopped by where that guy was kind of like looking into the town so it might be like he's been sent out on a quest by the town and he's running by here maybe that's kind of like the story that the trailer is trying to tell but nonetheless interesting that that person was seen just a little bit ago and this is the bear location potentially we need to go bear hunting for a quest or something like that boom and now we have a location that I think some people might mistake for the same as the town that we just saw. This, I, I am very, very confident that this is not the town location that we just were breaking down that is going to be friendly because there is something very distinct about all of the enemies that we are going to be seeing within these this freeze frame and the next freeze frame that I am going to break down. Every single enemy has raider attire. Every single enemy has like the armored like reinforced level two armor that pretty much all raiders that you encounter do have you can see like the raider masks on them the reinforced shirts and that type of stuff and this is very much so 
that Raider type of attire that I'm talking about. So to break it down on the Lickety Split, we can see kind of in the center of the screen, there is actually a Raider with a baseball bat, again, rocking that Raider type attire over by that house on the right. We can see a similar Raider. It is Raider type attire over by that house, plus a blood pool over on the right, kind of reinforcing the idea that this is a Raider location we are seeing, that this is going to be different from the town we saw before, and that some of these quests that that first town might send us out on, we might need to go and try to attack a similar type of town filled with enemies filled with raiders or maybe we might even need to pick a side between these two factions and take place in some sort of a massive war of survivor cities which personally i think that's starting to get a little bit wishful thinking but with this whole faction reputation system that i'm detailing might indeed still be a thing boom and here we are seeing the second image and we can see actually a multitude of again all of these people rocking their raider attire they have the like raider face mask that literally so many raiders we have encountered do have they have like the reinforced armor all that type of jazz you can see one over on the top left over on the left one on the bottom right which we kind of looked at at the prior freeze frame and then one in the top right over by that oak tree plus a small little detail there was actually no oak trees visible within the friendly town location there was only pine trees so that kind of reinforces this idea that these are two distinct locations that we are looking at and also this might be a more enemy type location where we do got to battle through all these raiders because i mean they just have oak trees chilling throughout their like stronghold their town their city oak trees they're kind of more valuable than normal trees so you know it's kind of a reward for clearing out the town we'll also probably be able to chop down the trees get a nice little supply of oak you know but yeah just very interesting to note how similar this location is to that kind of more friendly looking town that we saw earlier and just the fact that this appears to be the fourth location that this trailer does explicitly confirm and show off and that this one is looking a bit more aggressive and a bit more raider oriented maybe even the raiders kind of took over a town that the friendly people used to live at or something and maybe that's kind of like how this all ties together and it's like a tour for revenge or something because the towns the architecture all does look very similar and we did get a teaser that one of these kind of like locations that does look similar to what we are seeing here with the oak trees and the houses was actually long ago abandoned and is now going to be a dangerous location kind of reinforcing that raider thing that i'm talking about and to just further illustrate that point boom here we actually have an image that we broke down just the other day where again we are seeing what appears to be a very different location none of the enemies have that kind of raider attire they don't have that reinforced armor they don't have those face masks and even that person over by the pond actually has a circle under him which makes it seem like we will be able to explicitly interact with him and talk with him which makes it seem like this town with the normal pine trees is actually a bit more friendly the houses also do appear to be a bit more kind of compact and it kind of in the background we can also see a couple of survivors again without any like reinforced armor and stuff like that so it does appear like they're gonna be two towns minimum and it might go even further than that because boom here we're seeing a freeze frame from the trailer and this is of a location that appears to be very similar to the one we saw with the raiders we can see the oak trees we can see what you call a bunch of zombies however instead of raiders infesting this area but besides that the location looks very similar to that raider location it also does appear to have that kind of like a darker like nighttime feel to it which i think kind of goes hand in hand with the raider one we were looking at and kind of like trying to denote like this evil like more dangerous feeling throughout the trailer compared to the daylight we saw within that first freeze frame of the more walled in friendlier looking settlement but the houses are there they're spaced out we can see the oak trees but instead of raiders we are again seeing those zombies so either this is going to be one type of location that has a mix of zombies and raiders within it or it's going to be a location that has different versions where potentially it's a settlement or like a town that you go to maybe it's infested by zombies when you visit or maybe it's infested by raiders where there's gonna be like multiple versions of it or they might just be two entirely distinct towns we might be sent out for separate quests in them one of the towns could be a distinct town a distinct city that does have zombies and then a completely separate location that has raiders in which case that actually be i think the best way because then you can actually hit up multiple towns do even more looting and just have more to check out boom now this is not 
a lot to take away from this, but there are a couple of cheeky little things that I do want to point out. Number one, this does have that like more daylight feel to it, which might connect this back with the friendly survivor location we were talking about due to this kind of like theme we are seeing with the lighting throughout this. But within the window, we can actually see a survivor, at least what appears to be a survivor. However, this survivor does appear to be very dead and laying on the ground. Uh, so there might be something interesting going on within one of the houses within the survivor location and it's also kind of very hard to tell maybe i'm just seeing something that's not there but i am kind of convinced i've been looking at it and kind of when you see this clip in motion if you guys look at that little crack to the left of the window you can kind of see what appears to be a pool of blood and a body laying in it. You can kind of see like this long kind of like skinny type skin colored object, which I think is like an arm next to like a more solid colored, like thicker type of object, which I think is the body of yet another person. So I think what we are seeing here is actually a house where multiple people were killed inside of it. So either this ties in with like a raider location, a zombie location or the survivor location that we were talking about and somehow this might be a quest maybe we got to like solve the mystery of how these dudes died maybe it's going to lead us down some sort of demented quest line path since you know quests are going to be a big thing or maybe they position this in an interesting way because the very next clip after this is boom the sewer location the fifth location that this trailer explicitly confirms which wow that is a lot to take away but the fact that that interesting little kind of window shot super mysterious is placed right before this very ominous sewer freeze frame with the brand new boss at the end of this long hallway makes me wonder if inside of that house there might actually be an entrance into the sewer system because i mean it would make sense for there to be a sewer system within like a city within a town so maybe underneath this town is where the sewer system will actually be located and in that case the presence of this brand new terrifying absolutely massive looking zombie at the end of the sewer maybe there's gonna be a quest line where we gotta take this dude down because he has been like terrorizing the town and that house and window that we just saw was actually this dude literally like sneaking into a survivor's home and taking them down and no one's been able to take down the zombie and it's gonna be our job to do that that personally is a really really cool and i think a very possible way for a incredible quest to come together and also an incredible boss battle that i mean it would make a lot of sense because i mean that would probably mean that this is gonna be a very tough zombie if the rest of the survivors are like too scared to take them down or no one else has been able to and it's up to us to do the deed that makes me think that this is going to be a dope boss battle and that there's going to be some really good loot awaiting us maybe even that this could be the final quest of the season six quest line or just quest system or faction reputation system that there is now whether that means that the sewer entrance might be inside of that house that we saw or maybe if just there's gonna be a sewer entrance kind of like blocked off somewhere in the town and just like this thing's been like sneaking out and randomly killing within houses or he specifically snuck in like through like a, some sort of like a sewer that was like accessible within that home and killed those people but we've broken this down before we saw that within the sewers there's gonna be this like huge lanky type of monster and this is indeed that monster we are seeing it in person and we are seeing it at the end of that sewer system this is without a doubt shape it up to be a boss and i cannot wait to go to battle take this beast down and see what our rewards are for doing such a tremendous task well there you boys and girls have it a incredibly detailed breakdown of the first of potentially like usually they'll release like two trailers i think they're at least one kind of like in the days leading up to the update usually and then another one around like the same day or so or like maybe a day away potentially it's like a little bit longer where it's like a multiple minute trailer that type of thing uh kind of significantly closer to the release date so i think for now we've gotten the first of those two trailers that are likely to come our way and with that i want to do a very detailed breakdown on it as y'all probably saw 
we definitely went very in depth with that because well there was just a lot to take away a lot of small details and combining it with the information that we have heard in the past i wanted to give us the most complete picture of everything that we know about this upcoming season because season six is seriously looking insane like i it's not i don't think it's been as hyped up as the atv update with season three because we've been waiting for the atv for like literally multiple years it has been teasing us but i think this is going to be a massive update that we weren't necessarily expecting you know and just some of these features that we are seeing like the way that they're going to come together with some of the looks that we saw today some of the breakdowns that we were able to do all that type of jazz i am incredibly hyped for what is coming our way and hopefully you boys and girls are hyped about it as well but go ahead and let me know in that comment section down below what you think about everything that we went in depth on what do you think about the ooh sawblade mace love to see it on the variety of locations that we went in depth on the potential that there's gonna be three towns a survivor town a raider town and a zombie town the fact that the sewer might actually be under one of these towns potentially the survivor one since the survivor town did look to be the most like densely compact just from that like little exterior look but obviously the sewer location the boss how it all comes together the quests and that cheeky farm location man the farm location is interesting as well just because like how does that come into play with everything that we are seeing and i mean dude that's the same pickup truck we've seen at the fort moss from season three maybe we'll see the return of potentially a second type of fort potentially fort barn that we gotta freaking fend off and help build up the potential it's there the potential it's through the roof for this season but let me know what you boys and girls are the most excited for how this stuff might be playing out any and all that type of jazz in that comment section down below and reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way into the weekly 25 dollar active touch place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure to hit that like button make sure to subscribe that will ensure you win on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick random video for the past week pick random comment from that random video and that will be the winner for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway not to mention all this last day on earth coming your way as more info comes out about season six and honestly all future things in the last day on earth we keeping y'all on the loop baby and as soon as season six is here we are checking it out absolutely asap usually when a big update drops oh baby it's double upload time as well there's gonna be a lot of last day on earth content coming your way and season six looks like it is going to have so much to cover and guess what we covering all of it baby new locations new enemies new quest lines new everything when something new is added to the game we are checking out these new things we are battling them i don't care how hard it is i don't care how much of our loot we gotta blow through i don't care how much of my time I gotta spend these new things will be shown off they will be defeated regardless of how difficult they may or may not be and hopefully for those of y'all that are excited to check out these new updates as well it will give you guys a great look as to what to expect so hopefully y'all aren't going in blind because listen i'm more than happy to take some l's in the world of last day on earth i'm more than happy to put my loot at risk my life my everything if it means that hopefully some of y'all are going to be a little bit more prepared for the trials and tribulations and a shower does make sense but a boom but so does a little bit of a boom baby let's just go and try to get to kill on these dudes a little bit more we still got a little bit of the melee ability that does give us an extra bit of damage whenever it is time to kill the people so whoop, let's go and hit him a little bit and pop and besides that, our Sublime Mace ability has regenerated, and the twofer should be enough to put that Blota Knight Knight. Now it's time for us to start reaping the rewards of this raid, and if I'm not mistaken, there should be quite a little bit of rewards awaiting us. Yes, eh? Oh! And the rewards are juicy, like this steak medium rare oh whoever cooked that steak has great taste in steaks but all right we just got some more of these chests we actually had a plethora of chests over here to break into and then 
Ah, there is a second room there, but from some of the scouting I did into that base, I do not believe that the loot in that second room is... Oh, let's go. Love to see the wrenches, man, especially with this upcoming update. Wrenches are, uh, I'm not going to say extremely rare, but they're... You know, when you gotta go out of your way to look for them, it's kind of hard to find them. So I'm very happy to be stockpiling on some of those, especially if Fort Moss is gonna like make some sort of a spiritual return with that like red pickup truck and the tents and that type of jazz. And we might need to maybe uh, build some more turrets and prepare to uh, take some things down. Like I'm saying, y'all, I don't care how much loot we gotta blow through we're gonna be taking things to the extreme and we're gonna be having a jolly good time let's just wait for this uh, saw blade mace to regenerate get some damage into you my pantalones are gone and the toxic abomination is still staring me down luckily i got plenty of pistol drizzle to put him night night and from there have i looted okay i just want to make sure that i did or did not loot the pickup truck hmm Let's continue breaking through these chests and seeing all that they have to offer for a lad like me. And I believe the answer should be a good little bit. Ooh, let's freaking go. Happy to collect some aluminium. Love to see that. One of the more valuable metals, at least more valuable than iron, I should say. Let's continue breaking through the rest of these chests here. Eh, just leather and stuff. Nothing super incredible in that one. What about you, chest number two? Relative to the first chest that we broke into. Okay. We got some resources. A little bit of oak. We actually got some hatchets for the time being. I guess I'll just grab those for now. And we have two more chests to break into. We do have one more wave of zombies we gotta anticipate. Hopefully this pistol can get the trick done. Otherwise, we go in zombie boxing, baby. I'm about to float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Or is it sting like... No, butterflies don't sting. It's not sting like a butterfly, float like a bee. Although butterflies do float. I mean, no, bees do float. Or they do they flap? Well, doesn't everything flap? Okay, I don't know. I ain't no insectologist, but listen, I don't even know if I'm going to have to go zombie boxing quite yet. Oh, mama, let's not get caught up next to too many of those toxic abominations, though. What I want to do... Oh, okay, so we killed all the uh, smaller, faster biters. Just going to get... Oh, my God, we're more naked than ever before. Okay, this is quickly escalating. I feel like freaking Tarzan right now, but Travis has got my back. And I'm still pretty color-coordinated. We got the green undies. We got the green title. And we got the green hat. We even got a green laser. Oh, baby, man. St. Patrick's Day is coming up. And we are ready, man. We are staying in theme, baby. And all right, let's put the finishing blows into the last toxic abomination opposing us and get to our rightfully deserved loot. I use the C4 on this base and I expect to reap the rewards of that C to the four. Now, unfortunately, I think that we have pretty much got a glimmer into what those rewards are likely to be. So at this point, I'll definitely grab that. I'll grab the car air filter, probably fill out my inventory with just some of these resources and whatnot. We, okay, hold up. We do still have one more chest over here. Let's see what this is all about before we make any too quick judgments. And whoa, not too shabby, man. I'm happy to collect an electronic circuit. Although this is a raid that we did get from uh, specifically asking for a raid, we just got to be a little bit more cautious and actually we, we got to put that away because if the raiders know I looted an ele electronic circuit, they're going to ask for a lot of loot in return. So we definitely got to put that away. They do value aluminum plates, gun oil, and some of this other jazz. Definitely car air filters. They value that pretty highly. Uh, so we're just going to go and put some of those things away. I'll leave this bottle of gasoline with me because that is my gas. I just like, listen, I know it kind of uses up a slot in our chopper, but unless uh, we have like a huge raid that's literally like just nonstop glocks, which dude, we've literally raided a base with like 50 pistols before. It happens. Very, very rare, but it is possible. Yeah. Ooh, hold up. Mm, I think I'll pick up the cameras. I actually, those kind of did avoid my vision the last time we were taking a look-see doodle. Fill out my inventory with uh, some of these more raw resources, and uh, I'm kind of spooked by the big one, y'all. I'm not going to lie. I don't have the most inventory room to really deal... Not inventory room. The most clothing to really deal with them. So things might get out of hand rather quickly. Eh, that is not good. That is very, very not good. Because I do want to break into, like, at least one more thing here. That thing, of course, being this workbench. 
Kind of want to break into these wood, just in case there's like oak or something inside, but probably not going to be as big of a deal. So, hey, YOLO, let's hope for the best. Please don't kill me. And oh, Lord, there he is. There he is. Yeah, he's already doing 37 damage. Okay, yeah, wooden work patches, not the biggest deal in the world. Okay, this Tarzan impersonator, I'm just happy to get out of there alive. I do not have enough clothes to not fear the big one. Please leave a message after the beep. Let's just go ahead and successfully make our way back home and continue preparing for the shenanigans that season six holds because again after what we saw today season six i i'm i'm putting this claim out here right now biggest update since season three without a doubt this is going to be a banger from what we have been breaking down but looking forward to what y'all got to say about it best of luck in the giveaway and make sure to stay tuned because we'll keep, we'll be keeping you all in the loop with more info and of course the update itself and everything about the update when the update it does come out and of course that notification bell is a great way to stay in the loop with all the other awesome survival games we are checking out actually trying to check out a brand new survival game brand new zombie game i should say within the next video or next few videos if all goes according to plan but we also have some really other awesome survival series like withstand survival seven days to die survival and if you all like last day on earth great chance you like some of the other games that we are checking out because i love last day on earth i think last day on earth is like a perfect example of a survival game and well given all of these things i think our tastes are a little bit similar and y'all might enjoy some of the other things we are checking out so make sure to go ahead and give those a look ski doodle or at least a try as well but with that said with that done that's gonna go to start wrapping it up for me for now thank you guys for holding for watching have yourselves an awesome one and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya